I'm back. <laughs> so, this is what I'd like to do. Eat now for tomorrow we diet. No, not tomorrow even. <laughs> not staying home every single day. <laughs> All day. Anyway, um, just thought this was cute. So I put this out, this little napkin. <laughs> okay, so, you guys, um, you're probably as excited about making those, uh, those pins for the care healthcare workers. Well, I, I I really wanted to make some of those. Um, they're so cute. I thought there's so many so much potential for creativity with that. But um, yeah, uh, you know, I'm not that excited about making masks, even though it's um, you know for a good cause for my family uh, that want them. And, uh, but the, I don't see the creativity in it, <laughs> but I'm being selfish. Okay. So anyway, let me show you some of the, uh, bookmarkers that I, I did make so I can get, put these away or give them to my daughter. Actually, I can't see her. She's been sick. So, um, been staying away from her house because my grandson, my grandson's sick too. <laughs> Sick, sick, sick. Everybody's sick. They don't know what of. Probably just a cold, right? Anyway, here, I've made these, and I thought these came out really nice, and thought maybe you'd like to see them. I have a short, very short, let me move this. I think I'm going to have to move this. Move this over here. And, um, my little basket I love. But, anyway, let's see if I can show you. Wow, I don't think this is going to work. Okay, so I made these uh, little um, collaged uh, bookmark, bookmarkers. So I think they came out pretty. I have some um, in, you know, paper embossed with uh, inked, distressed ink. And then I just collaged different p elements, and then I did some sewing around the edges. But um, I thought that was nice and clean looking as for collage, you know, because collage is kind of messy. Let us look, but this looks kind of clean looking. So I made her that one. She also likes these um, kind of grunge, you know, like um, Tim Holtz type. And so I did, um, you know, do some uh, book pages and different pieces of paper, and then put this, uh, you know, there's a punch, that's an old punch, that I, I had punched that out already, so I just stuck it on there, and I thought that was kind of gringy looking. Every single day, that is a, <laughs> this is good, every single day we're in the house, but... <laughs> But then, um, this is a, a stamp and that I found. My, you know, I've been looking in all my stamps, and so it's been fun, because they're, they're fun to use. And so I, I stamped that with that. But every single day, love, love, love. Right? And then on the other side, I just put some piano paper. And uh, this side, you can tell I did some deli paper. So I'm going to show you a lot of things I did with the deli paper on these. So I might as well show you the box. Just in case you see this. And it comes in a big box like this. And it's very thin. I, it's much, it says flat waxed, dry waxed bakery tissue. So it comes like this and um, it's really, really thin. And one side is feels a little more wax, this side feels a little more wax than the other side. But there's so many things you could do with this. I really love this. So anyway, that's that's what it looks like. The company, let me see, just in case you might be able to look it up, see if you can find it. Um, wax pack. I guess that's what it's called, Wax Pack. So maybe that's the company. Mm. There's a barcode. Uh, I don't see anything else written on here as far as where it came from. It's 
It's made in Vancouver, Washington. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll show you that little address there. So, that's what that is. Okay, so, next, next thing is this one. I thought this one came out cute. Used all those spreads, different papers, and this is the back. So, I don't know. I, of course, you know, I do pink, so I try to do blue. <laughs> Here's another grungy one. And this came out really good. I like this, too. Some numbers. I think that's tape. That's washi tape. And this is part of a that um, uh, music, music paper. This is also the backside of the music paper. And see, here it is. The White Crow. I don't know what that is. March Oddity. We're having a March Oddity. It sure is odd. So, that's what this one looks like. And it has the paper on it, too. Though you can see the... And then I did the um, distressing on that, on that uh, bakery paper. Deli paper. And here's another one. And this one is big, and it's it's like four inches by I don't know is it like seven inches, and I made it into a pocket so it can go into a a book and put a, other papers in it. And on the back, I made this sort of like a belly band, you know, you can put other stuff in it through here. See how that works? Papers in there. So I thought that would be good in a, in a big book. And that has the uh, deli paper on it as well. And then I did a little sewing. Well, that's for the pocket, to make the pocket. It's real thick um, cardstock, um, like probably 110 pounds, maybe more. I think this is the one I got at the paper company a long time ago. And then I made this little one. Isn't it cute? It's a little thing. And there's my every single day stamp. So I thought that was really cute. This thing's ever sitting on my desk, you know, when you punch things out. I just kind of put them in a little dish or something. Then I have them ready to use. Um, this is the other one, the old one. I kept this one. I think this is the only one I kept. But, um, because it's really out there. <laughs> it's really outside the box. <laughs> I haven't finished the backing. I like this paper, that's why. It's um, like rice paper with gold threads in it. Left over from the old days. Okay, so um, those are the things I've made. And, oh, I, I, I guess I should show you the this. Uh, look what I did. I made, I used the... Um, washi tape that um, Judy gave me. You know, she gave it to me on a, these little rolls. Um, you know, I remembered what they're called and then I forgot now. Okay, so I used the washi tape because it's easy to open, right? Because um, P said <laughs> I gave her an envelope with one of those dots and she says she couldn't hardly get it open. <laughs> off. Okay, so and then this is the corner that Judy gave me, and I put it on this card because I really love this. I think my daughter will like that. And um, this is a bookmarker. And well, before I give it to her, I'm gonna figure out how she made it because it looks like a triangle, and then folded, and then put another triangle over it. Thus, you have this book corner. So it could be different sizes, but this looks like um, two, two and a half inches maybe. So, <clears throat> thought I'd make it because it goes so well with this uh, card. And this card, I was experimenting with some contact paper. You know the clear contact paper that's uh, got um, uh, sticky stuff on one side? And uh, you can get it anywhere, like Walmart or 
Target or something, you know, shelving paper like, but it's clear. And so I put that on and the napkin piece that I had colored, I put it on here. I think I had put it on a piece of deli paper or something and colored it and then um, put that uh, on the, um, the clear shelving paper. And then I embossed the whole thing. And I came, and you know, what I did was put some, um, uh, I think it's the gold, um, memento, you know, the, the little tiny, um, I can barely get this out, but it's like this, but it's gold, you know, these little things. And I think I just, you know, put it on as it was, um, already embossed. And so that's why you get that gold on there. So it came out kind of different, right? So I put some gold threading here. And then, you know, I wanted to have some blue on here. So I ripped up some blue, put it on there. And then inside is the uh, blue paper that's on the outside. It's on the inside. And this uh, this is vintage piece that was uh, came off of the roll that I had. And then so I just stuck it on a little die cut sitting on my table and then I had this also so I just stuck it on there and I think that came out cute I'm a simple girl <laughs> old lady <laughs> okay so it says um I have that from uh, Judy thank you Judy you're so sweet and um I have this stamp it doesn't say who it's by oh print works it says by print works that's cool I really like this because the handmade is written like it's, you know, hand done. So I love that. So I did that in the, um, the Distress Oxide, <coughs> that greenish color. Let's see. Ice, ice spruce. So I just stamped it with that. I like the lighter color better than the dark because it makes it kind of, you know, uh, I don't know, it goes with the card rather than being so stark and black. So that's what I did with that one. So it came out cute. I like it. I'm just looking for my corner. Here it is. Put that on there. Okay, so um, oh, while I'm talking about Judy, she told me, she wrote me an email and told me this is a stand-up card. So let me just put this. So you stand it up like this, and it's a dimensional box. Isn't that so cute? I thought that was really cute. I like that. Okay, so there's one more thing that I, I did that I wanted to maybe do a little tiny tutorial, if you like. I, um, for some reason, I was thinking in the middle of the night, I was, well, not in the middle of the night, I don't know, early morning or something. I was thinking about those paper clips that you, um, you know, like my heart ones that I've made. I was going to try to think if I had any here. Okay, so these, um, these kind of clips like this, you know, that are paper clips because it fits, it fits, uh, in your pages like that. Anyway, I was thinking of those, but I was thinking more or less of, um, you know, just paring paper and then decorating the paper. So I know that someone has, many people probably have done those. Maybe I've seen them in the past, you know, um, people doing those. But I thought, uh, for some reason I had that in my head, so I had to hurry up and make it. <laughs> so this is what I came up with. And, um... Let me see. Let me just take this envelope here. And so I thought, oh, this is so cute. It came out cute. I mean, you can put it on your page like this. Or on the other side like this. Um, and use as a bookmarker. You know, or you can use them in your junk journal or whatever. And um, so um, I made a, a couple of these. And then put some raffia. Isn't that cool? This is just, you know, looks like it's been dyed or something. 
I thought that little piece was really cute. So I made that one. And then I made this one. And um, I thought they came out. Um, I really like them. So, anyway. Almost looks Asian though. On that one. How about this way? Maybe it's the raffia that makes it look kind of Asian. You could put like blue ribbon. In. So, I like that. And, um, and then I thought of making it a large one because, um, look at this. I made this into a paper clip. <laughs> because, let me show you what I was thinking. Um, I have, um, some paper, you know, I, um, found these, um, magazine papers, like the, you know, magazine pieces of, I don't know why I saved it, kind of thing, and so, I thought that would be neat to just, you know, clip them together, so you can just clip these together, or even those other ones I can use, actually, but look at that. So, I thought that was so cute. You can put like, you know, your Easter magazine cuttings or something. And then I thought, you know what? This is be really cute is to um, have your file folder. And because it, file folders just have an opening like this, you know, it's just... And um, if you were going to save stuff for your um, Easter stuff, you could just stick them in, in your file folder and then close it off on the top with this paper clip okay and, and it, it goes on there really nicely like that isn't that so cute this one i covered it with um this is a napkin and i covered it and then i put some uh, deli paper on top for that frosty look and it's real smooth and so the paper is not going to catch on anything so i thought that worked out so cute i really like it so I thought I'd show you guys how to make that real fast because uh, it's pretty cute. But let me show you the back of it. So I made it shorter and stamped it with the uh, stamp that um, Judy gave me. And then I have this stamp because this is this little stamp is from uh, Michaels, I think, because it says Craft Smart. Um, I, it was in my stash, so. Yeah, I'm sure they have something even cuter right now. But who can go to the store? I'll buy the dollar. <laughs> what are they going to do with all that dollar stuff? Nobody can go into the store here in California. Anyway, so sad. Okay, so anyway, this is uh, the one I made. And it has a, a giant paper clip in the inside. And it's not showing. Because I've seen ones that have the paper clip showing. This has no paper clip showing. I'm sure somebody's done it. Um, probably I even saw it. But, you know, didn't... Usually I have to watch it over and over again. This came in my head like, Oh, that's what I'm going to do. Make it like that. I wish I would have made this one into a paper clip. This would be really cute, huh? But I didn't. I guess I could recreate it somehow. Alright, so <clears throat> let me show you how to make this really fast. Um, not the big one, because... You know, it's made the same way virtually. So, so okay. So what you're going to do is get two pieces of uh, cardstock that's about the, you know at exactly the same size, and then you're just going to get your paper clip and watch me. Oh, here I found a paper clip. Okay, so this is the big one. According to the size of your paper clip, you don't want it longer, okay, than this. So you're just going to put this on top of here, like that, okay. And then you're going to get your paper, and you're going to glue this on top of here, like this. Maybe it's, um, make one small, a little bit, tad smaller than the other one, so it goes over it. Let me see if this works. But if it doesn't, you know, you can always just cut it off, because I haven't, um, decorated it yet, so, so anyway, I guess this was the best scenario, the other one. So make sure this is centered. And then um, this goes over it. And what you're going to do is just glue this together. So you're just going to get your strong glue, whatever glue is strong for you. 
And you can use um, your double stick tape too. I didn't. Maybe I'll try it. The other ones I use double stick tape. I mean, uh, gl uh, this Fabri-Tac. And, and this is so good when it's fresh. <laughs> it works so well. But let me get my um, double stick tape and see how this works out. So you're just going to get, let's do that. Let's do the double stick tape. And then we'll um, put that together. And if it doesn't work out, then you sh use the plan B or the original plan A. This is plan B. I don't know. Okay, so this must be really good tape because it won't even... I can't even rip it. I think that score tape uh, rips good. This one's no no-name brand, I guess. I don't know. This is my stash. You know, I'm using my stash all the time nowadays because, first of all, I don't want any more stuff. I'm trying to, you know, use it up. And then, um, so, I'm going to do the whole thing with this. I think the glue is cheaper, right? Because this stuff's not cheap. But if you're just going to make one, just for fun then you know use, well, I use whatever you want so <clears throat> so I'm going to take this off because uh, this is the glue is um, glue is probably cheaper and faster although that Fabri-Tac is kind of expensive so I usually get it on um, sale I mean uh, use a coupon and uh, anyway okay so then you're going to line it up Sometimes when you wake up and think of things, that's your best thing. <laughs> yeah, it's like divine intervention, almost, or sort of, kind of. Anyway, so you can do that. Actually, um, I forgot a step. I, I didn't do this other step with this, but I just thought about it. Um, I had cut out something, some foam. I had cut out foam to use on this to see if it was going to work um, better because if you stick this inside, it'll make it really thick though if you use both sides. Then the, um, if you use some foam, you know, in between the, the paper clip and the, where we just glued or we just put it together, uh, then you're not going to have this, uh, See, it kind of shows this bump, the paper clip, but you know, it's just paper, so it's okay. But I was going to try it anyway, so it didn't have that bump on there. Maybe for the big one, it might be a better idea. Anyway, you have this, and um, so look how great. You just stick this in here, and you have your paper clip without, without the clip showing. I thought that was great. All right, and so then for decorating, you can decorate it any way you want, but I've kind of had this all waiting here. <laughs> and so I thought that was really cute, and then you can distress it. Um, maybe I'll use this again because it's um, less messy. And so... So how about that? I hear we're going to be locked up for another uh, month. Goodness. Um, I guess that means more crafting for me. Um, because my daughter's home, uh, working from home, watching her two boys. They're home from school. Homeschooling. They're doing the, um, the iPad thing, I guess, with, you know, I forgot what she called it, Zoom or something. They do a class with all their classmates and uh, have a class like that. And then my um, other one, I'm um, trying not to spread my little cough that I have, so I don't want to see the babies. So um, my uh, the other grandmas, grandma and grandpa are watching the babies 
because um, they're kind of more retired than I am. But, uh, yeah, so that's what's going on with me. And then <clears throat> I have one more. Where'd you do with it? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I thought I'd put my own, you know, um, initial on the back here. So fast forward this if you don't want to watch all my rambling and watch me do the slow process of uh, making this. But anyway, so I, I'm just basically uh, watching my uh, my mom, who's 91, and taking her to the doctor she needs to. And she, she lives with me, and she's pretty spry, but she can't, um, you know, breathe too well sometimes. And I worry that she might if she gets coronavirus. Um, it's going to be deadly for her, so um, I try not to be in contact with a lot of people right now and until she can get a vaccine. But anyway, that's how it is. What can you do? Everybody's doing the best they can, I believe. So, anyway. So, I'm going to cut this um, off because it's kind of an overlap. And then, um, with this one, I cornered the edges. I guess I could have put it the flower this way, you know, but I did it that way. I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to leave the corners straight on this one. And what I would do is just kind of do the edges. Um, let me see if I can... What do I have here? Nothing? This piece of paper. Show you how it works. Ta-da! Is that nice? Or what? And of course you can dress it up. I would dress it up with um, distress ink and then I'd put um, some, a bow. We're 27 minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm just so chatty. So that's my little tutorial. Those are my book uh, marks and I hope you enjoy this video. Um, if not, just, you know, fast forward and <laughs> I'll talk to you in the next one because I did some cards too, kind of quilting looking cards. So I will do another video tomorrow on that. So I'll talk to you later. Have a good night. Bye-bye.